Hey Twigs. We're back. Should have quick saved before doing that, because if they would have heard that, I'd have been fucked. Alright, we need to rearrange everything. Oh, it's still favorited. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. I'm so sneaky. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We are LM1 timing. Oh. They could have cleaned up just like a little bit. Like, I know no one's coming back here, but... I love this fucking amnesia ass hiding place. Ooh. So, we should be sneaky boy. Probably for the best. Okay, it actually makes a difference, but you know, you know what I'm like. It's Skyrim. You gotta stealth archer this section and then fuck it up and then end up going back to your original strategy. <laughs> Brave of us to be making all this noise just behind the door that they're having the party. Carried his little gem for good luck on him. Oh. What a shame. Imagine if, like, when you get discovered, they just go, Alan, <laughs> and just scream, and then, like, six million of them come and attack you. I want to stealth it fully. Okay. Oh, he's coming. Already? Wow. It's okay. That was much better. He was he started moving instantly because they changed the pattern when they when you quick load. Okay, good. There's a skull up there. I'll take you. I love taking the skulls. I take them to... You know where I take them. If, you, if you've been watching me before, then I take... I pick up a bunch of skulls every now and then in the campaign. And uh, I take them to Solstheim. So, you know. They get a bit of travelling in, you know? Pretty sure there's only three of them. And then, f like, five of them outside. Portions will come in handy. These rooms would be so stuffy. I've been to some restaurants in London and they just get really fucking stuffy. Rooms like similar to this. Pots are rare, bro. I 
things they could do to you when you're asleep. They could kill you in like six million different ways. Yeah, maybe like eight different ways. I'll capture you, you know. It's scary. It's nine o'clock, wow. I didn't shower today and I should have. I smell. But I smell like kind of like good bad, you know, when you smell bad enough that you're like, man, I should shower, but you're like, eh. You did not see me, like that split second. Eat my ass. No freaking way. Just do my quick save, god damn it. Okay, let's try going out this way. Maybe you'll be safer. We have to be quiet so they don't hear us. Otherwise we'll get detected and then get killed. Roman, this isn't a Stealth Archer playthrough. Yeah, I know. But we legally have to Stealth Archer. It's Skyrim Thalmor Embassy. I can kill the other guy from the other side. Let me do that. Straight in the butt. Okay, they're gonna charge, they're gonna turn the corner, I'm gonna run inside. Really? 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 Hello, shout. There's no hard there anymore. Rough. his bonds and put you in a cell together. <laughs> you can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now get out. Rollendil. <laughs> One day the shoe will be on the other foot. I knew he was telling the truth. I can always <laughs> Just missed him. Someone's here. They look like little tits. 
This room always reminds me of that area in Penumbra. The first one. Penumbra the first one. Where... Uh, some of those things are kept. You know what I'm talking about. And the level with the big opening. Uh, the big the big cave level. I don't remember what it's called. Um, that is dangerously hanging off the shelf. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, shit. I should get. I should play Penumbra more and get more familiar with it. I should get as familiar with Penumbra as I am with the other games they've made. That'd be a fun idea. I like this book. That's a fun one. I'm, I'm going to keep that one on me, actually. I still need to do Skyrim Book Club. I know someone's done it already, uh, but I want to make it just a series where we just read every book in Skyrim. I think it could be cute. Just most of the time with the voice paint still. It only really comes out with Skyrim and Minecraft at Let's Plays. Not really on stream anymore. I have got better with it. My voice. It's been in less pain as the months have gone on as I've like been healing myself better. <clears throat> Let's just have a look at who else we've got here. Where are the toilets? the lighting in this like it's great it's great enough we don't need all these fucking <sighs> you know ray tracing and this and that gamers are just like oh it's a modern game so it needs these features no it doesn't ray tracing doesn't mean shit it doesn't look good it's a waste of resources it's a waste of time You were never going to convince me otherwise. Copy paste the shelf, bitch. What? Oh, I didn't really want to run it. How did I forget to bring lockpicks? Because they're lock. That's a dumb question. No one remembers to bring lockpicks. Probably some people who are smarter than me remember to bring them. God damn it. Can I find one? <laughs> First emissary element. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the embassy for, full inter for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I've authorized in intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. In two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to order our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Roll and deal. Interesting. So they have Etienne kept up. They know that he's part of the Thieves Guild, or at least could surmise that, and they're looking for Esper. That's the lead that they have. <coughs> Status, active, capture or kill, high priority, emissary level approval, female Breton mid-50s. Delphine was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons. She was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the players within the Dominion. She had been identified and was saluted for the initial purge, but by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil just before the outbreak of hostilities. During the war, she evaded three attempts on her life, in one case killing an entire assassination team. Since then, we have only indirect evidence of her movements, as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous, and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful preparation. 
She is still, she is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her. She seems to be working alone, as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim, and she has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. One of the reasons she has so far evaded elimination. Her continued existence is an affront to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts and activities should be immediately forwarded to the third emissary. Imagine how fun it would have been if in Skyrim you could have just been a high elf and just immediately ratted her out. That would have been sick. <sighs> so, Yarl of Windhelm, status asset, uncooperative, to woman, emissary, level approval. Yarl of Windhelm, leader of Stormlock Clover Rebellion, Imperial Legion veteran. Ulfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire, when he- First war against the Empire. When he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign of, for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, son of the Yarl, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now first emissary Elemon. He was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City. The city had in fact fallen before he had broken and then allowed to escape. After the war, contact was established and he has proven his worth as an asset. The so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable for them from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim, although it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative and dir to direct contact. Direct contact remains a possibility, but in general the asset should be considered dormant. As long as the civil war proceeds in its current indecisive fashion, we should remain hands-off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exception had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric's death would have dramatically increased the chance of an imperial victory and thus harmed the overall position in Skyrim. Note, the coincidental intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whatever it is behind the dragons also has an interest of the continuation of the war, but we should not assume therefore that their goals align with our own. The Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided however, so even in indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. So yeah, they don't know what's going on either. I should level up. I'm probably like level 18 by now. Ah yes, the wardrobe. God damn it. I love these new sound effects. Give me look pigs, please. God damn it. Would've been so sick, bro. Oh, why not wear my armor? I'm still wearing the potty clothes. <laughs> I'm seeing her. Mm -hmm. There's always six different pieces of attire. Stop, please. Don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolindale will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. Rules. I've already told you everything.
guys, he just moves in. Oh, I know where he is. What did you tell him? Why did you do this to me? Come on, you better get out of there. Oh, thank you. I don't understand what's happening. I can't stay here. What will I do now? I don't know, but I'm really sorry that had to happen, okay? Thank you so much. If you need anything, just let me know. Oh my god. Standing up. Why are you just hiding? He's just just standing there menacing. People absolutely do not care that they're getting shot at. It's okay, you can go now. Be careful. He's gone. Okay, go on. Okay. Husband. Fugitive. Capture only highest priority emissary level approval. Male Nord, late 70s. Husband was one of the Blades of Lawmasters prior to the first war against the Empire. He's, he was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the damaging operations carried out with the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falanesti incident and the breach of the Blue River Prison. His father had remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Alanor for punishment and re-education, re in the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A solitary, solitary reminder to all operative operational levels that no Blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason, or to be found and justice exacted upon them. As we are still in the dark as to the cause of and meaning of the return of the dragons, I have made capturing Esbon our top priority, as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the Blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise, expertise in the subject of dragons, which was derived from the Akaviri origins, and is still far superior to our run which remains largely th theoretical. The archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary repository of the oldest blade law, were largely destroyed during the siege, and although great effort has been made to reconstruct what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Edburn remains our best opportunity to learn how and why dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blades themselves are somehow connected to the dragon's return. We recently obtained solid information that Esbern is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esbern becoming alerted to his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm traitor! Dead. Come on. You're dead. Slow <laughs> yeah. Get cunted. Melbourne, Melbourne! Now the Falmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Yeah, it was your choice, so... I should have known this would end badly. I can't believe I let Delphine talk me into this. Yeah, it's kind of your fault. Let's get out of here for pity's sake. All right, don't swear. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's go. One second, I have a loose center tie up. And I have stuff to steal. God damn. 
I should put them all up there. Look at this cute little... Oh, that's cute. It'd be fun if you could find some, like, fingers or something. Alright, grow up. Get in the bowl. Brothers, come on. This is your chance, girl. What are you gonna do? Just wait down here till they find you? They're gonna cut they're gonna hurt you even more. Fine, be being a dumb bitch. Stupid dumb bitch. Hey, you I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Look at me. I'm not here to talk to you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? No time to explain. Come on, get out. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Sounds good. Fo uh, I'll follow you. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go, now. <sighs> Get out of here for pity's sake. Yeah, okay, stop swearing. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Who are you? What are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Hmm, okay. Let's get out of here. Where are we going? It's okay, I've killed them. I was following you, okay. Oh, hey. Maybe this is a way out. Are the four of us escaping? Maybe this is a way out. I've never had brothers here before. This is cute. Oh my god, there's a troll. Everyone be careful. Brothers, oh my god. Good time to level up. If brothers dies, I'm gonna scream. Oh, Melbourne. Brothers, we're leaving. Hurry up. Go down. You're not gonna come down, bitch. <laughs> nearly. Not nearly, that was awful. There's four of us at once! That's so sick! Escape the embussy. God, no. Uh -huh. I'm lost in my own art. We made it. Now the Falmore will be hunting me for the rest I don't know where I'll go. Somewhere far away from here. I hope so. I'm really sorry. I don't know where I'll go. Somewhere far away from here. <laughs> I should have known this would end badly. Let's stick together. Come on. We have to find somewhere for you both. Come on. You okay? You didn't have to help me, so... You two stick together. I'll make sure Brillis gets somewhere safe. It's my whole fault that she's like this anyway. You gonna be okay? I don't know where I'll go. Somewhere far away from here. Well, good luck, okay? I'm really sorry. Man. Okay, I need to catch up with the boys. Is Etienne gonna really run all the way back to Riften? Boys, whoa, no, 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 come on, already. Hello, game. Boom. 
boys. Oh, where'd they go? And where am I going? A fort. Where are we? Did I my torch? God damn it. Fucking bridge of rocks that are this way. So we're up here. This fort rocks that. So we've been going the wrong way. I'm going to see there. It's right up, my soldiers. I always think so. I'm going to see over here. Wow. Why is the Thalmor Embassy all the way up there? That's what I never understood. Like, I know they're going to be close to Solitude, because Solitude. But, like, some of the Isles are, like, way, way south. All that's up there is at Mora. Some of the Isles are, like, down, way far down back there, isn't it? If this is Falkreath, these, these are the Geralds, right? Hammerfell is down here, to the right of Falkreath. Hammerfell is, like, over this, this bit here. High Rock is up here. Up on this side. Splitting off from Markarth to the west. Cyrodiil is below Riften. Uh, when, uh below Halgen and Falkreath and the Rift. The, the mix of Falkreath and the Rift. Like, Cyrodiil is down here. Um, and then Morrowind is, uh, uh, well, Morrowind is over there, isn't it? If, um, Solstheim is over there, then Morrowind's over there. And then Amora's up there. And Black Marsh and elsewhere are like down there behind Cyrodiil, I believe. And then Valenwood and uh, Somerset Isles are like over this side. It could be really wrong. I don't remember. But let's head to the fort quickly so we can discover it, because we're going to have to go there anyway. Man, I feel like, um, like role playing, getting lost and like losing my people just then, that it reminds me of, um,. <laughs> Um, Evil with, uh, The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5, where Clementine and that gets separated. Jane, what a du- like, Jane was such a good character, and then she's just, like, the biggest dipshit. Like, what a fucking dumb cunt. But then Kenny also is like, ooh, just so much is wrong with that man. Poor guy. I don't think it's right that Clement should be Clem should be with him, but I don't think it's right that he should fucking die in some shitty car crash and get paralyzed off screen. Jane killing herself, I can believe, after being pregnant with Luke's baby. I can get that. Because she's a survivalist and she wouldn't dare risk trying to be alive. <gasps> oh, but wait. No, that troll was harmful. Yeah, I still have voice of this guy. Hi. Does that mean Spriggans are okay with me? It's a Spriggananant, though. So they- this is their troll. So are Spriggans okay with me? They must be. But yeah, Jane just hiding the baby in a car? What did you think would happen? What a dumb bitch. Alright, let's level up. Oh no, we did already. I want to put points into archery. So I have a chance of getting some of my arrows back. I need 50. Well, shit. More damage. More hammers. We don't really use great swords. Critical damage. Stunning power attacks. Yeah, decapitate. Now let's check out um, the magic trees. Restoration. Tool casting. Yeah. Well, do we really need that at the moment? Just better magic or regen would be great. 
You know what, I'm gonna put- uh, I think I still have the mods. Let me check my mod list. Okay, oh, I didn't. Shit. Well, uh, it's been a little bit. Um, I've just wanted to... Um, change a couple things in the files. Um, uh, so let's hope. I've, I've disabled the campfire mod because that was broken. And I... The thing fell off my webcam, so that's tilted now. And I changed the... Uh, the perk point mod to give me more perk points per up for a level and the well, I reinstalled that I installed a different one this time and I didn't want to install mods or touch the mods at all during this playthrough because I really didn't want to break anything so I'm really gonna hope I didn't break anything and I also uh, changed one of the files in the diary mod in the dear diary mod to get the uh, undiscovered places showing up in the icons so I'm really gonna hope that mm, Monte Carlo says in the new levels. Taking from a previous version, I'm not sure you want to your level, so that on the next level up, the mobile factor in any previously acquired levels. You have to set your PPL after making your selection. No. So we want. Set PPL to 2. So now if we go level up, it should be like, yeah, a bunch, which is cool. That's too many level ups. That's too many. That's you're cheating. Fuck you, Baltimore! Do we have undiscovered locations now? Showing up on maps? On the compass? I don't know. I saved the file. Um, I don't see anything near us. That could just be... It, though. That could be how it works. There could be nothing near us. I don't think that that's true, but maybe. I don't know. Let's go in here, because we have a quest here. Am I going in? Babe. No, babe. 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 Is this campfire not even on? Oh, it was not on earlier. There it is. I see it. Yeah. Bailey. God damn. Stop it, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm tilted. You're just gonna have to... I mean, tilted like that. I'm not actually... I'm not angry. Um, but yeah. Dual cast destruction. We're not really using destruction. Restoration that we're using. Dual cast restoration. Roman, you're cheating. You're cheating. That's what mods are for, stupid idiot. It's just cheating, but with extra skill. Go down. You can't update any of these. No. You can do that though. Archery. It's called guns. You used to love that truck. Sneaking. Noise from armor reduced. Fucking damn. Jesus fucking Christ, you stupid dumb bitch. We're not really using that. But we are using bows, so we're gonna need to get that. Picking we're not really using, pickpocketing we're not really using, speech we use. Ah, uh, we don't really crime. Illusion, yeah. We want the silent magic as well. Quiet casting, it could be useful. Conjuration. We could conjure some stuff. We didn't end up using that thing, did we? Potions and poisons... There are so many systems that we need to be doing. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We don't use 100. Mark useless, smithing... We want to smith eventually. We enchant things sometimes. We'll do alteration. Yeah. What was this? Ooh. Okay, lots of perks. Ooh. So if these are doggy boys, we should be okay. Hello, my little ones. Hi. 
Oh, but if this is just a cave that has nothing but wolves to kill, we won't be able to clear it until we kill them. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um. Just getting dumpy, I guess. Uh -huh. Oops. Do you think they kill the dogs? I'm increasing my archery. I'm gonna get my level up in archery. Oh my god. What's going on, you bitch? She's dead. Yeah. yeah, vampires for Seville. I have to lockpick now, I can go back into the former embassy. I'm a wolf now. So I ate a chocolate bar and a packet of crisp. Uh, set my reflux off a little bit. Oh. Need Hello. You are not the citizen. What the fuck? Voice of the sky. Still have it. Okay. She wasn't like an animal or whatever. Human heart. Just random bitch just sounding. Who is she? Why was she there? Melka. Remember Melka? Melka. I need to hurry up and finish this episode. Because I have to... Well, I want to make a video reacting to the new 1.21 music. Because I want to listen to it in full. Good boys, you good boys. Go get you some food. They're not going to go hungry for a while. They've got some corpses to feed off of. Oh. Okay, let's go to Sabiel. Sabiel! Oh. Hey. Oh, they you. You clear the vampires from Pine Mood. Sorry, I'm tired. Filthy creatures, aren't they? Living in the darkness like they do. So uncivilized. Hmm. I prefer finery. Like this. Here, for your trouble. And I suppose I should show you a little about illusion magic for free, shouldn't I? Mm. Well, thank you so much. What have you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Do you have, um... Uh, no, you don't. Dang it. When are we going to need non-reusable bags to be on? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! His feet. We could talk to Falk while we're here, I suppose. Wherever he is. 
Falk. The courier must have found you. Yeah, hey, uh, what was the message about? Is everything all right? Yes, old friend. Oh. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. <gasps> We've encountered some of her minions. Minions? Steer says she's still in spirit form. Or we'd all be dead already. Fuck You've me. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding. Of Isaac. I need you to go talk to him. Play through. You started See 12 if years Steer ago. can tell us what to do next. Uh, who's Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arcae. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. Oh. He'll help as much as he can. Um, why me? I'm not really sure. Steer thinks you have some sort of link to Potema. Potema. I trust his judgment on this. As a priest of Arcae, he's had to deal with necromancy before. Necromancy. Nothing as dangerous as Potema, though. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I'll go talk to him then. We'll figure something out. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. Something that I need to do more is roleplay. Like, I like roleplaying the character and, like, putting my own spin on on the, the dialogue options that I'm, I'm given. Um, because I feel like it's more natural that way rather than just reading, Hello, how are you? What did you do? What needs to be done? Like, because that's kind of, well, that is just unnatural. Um, and normal people don't normally speak like that, but hello. How things been with you? You been alright, cheers. Hello. hello, friend. Hi, they're so friendly. God, I wanna fuck them. Um, but I also want to, because like sometimes my deviations, I don't stay exactly on script, and then they don't make sense. Um, be, being said back to back, so uh, I want to get better at. <laughs> Putting my own spin on things, but also saying the whole sentence as it's needed in the response for it to make sense contextually. So it's just a thing because most of my responses are pretty tame and pretty make sense. But yeah. That's 700 meters away, bro. If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Down. Bloody good. I love this one. <laughs> I have a good full set, sorry. Where is my fucking horse? <laughs> Let's do a little test. Okay, so it's 6.34 in the morning. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Whiterun. We'll so Racial powers exist. God, I keep forgetting I have racist powers. I'm British. How do I forget that? I mean, racial powers. The double damage thing. So nine twenty in the morning. So that took just under three hours. Now let's fast travel and see if that's the same. Because hmm. I don't like fast travel, but it is useful. Because it's gone 10 o'clock, my computer puts on this, um... Uh, I, I changed it so that the night, the night filter comes on, so everything gets a bit warmer. It's really nice, but it makes me tighter. Which is what it's there for, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And fourteen, so it's the same difference. There's no difference. It 
it's not fixed yet. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna put some stuff away at home. I'll keep you with me. Good boy. Good girl. Whatever you are. Um, my horse doesn't have a gender. My horse's gender is bitch. How about that? God damn it, you motherfucker! Get out of my way. I'm trying to put you in here, dippy. You want to be safe? Protected from the rain and the elements? Now go on, okay? Silly girl. God, she's sexy. That's my horse. That's not. Or will I? No. <laughs> Lord, forgive me for what I'm about to do. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. God damn. I'm gonna eat the horse's ass. I'm gonna stop talking. Verbal dysentery school. Oh, it's blade shield that it wants, not the blade sword. Oh. Blade sword somewhere, right? Wait that. Oh! Why is there a blade of woe down here? Isn't that only for Astrid? Why the fuck do I have this now? What? Um... Okay, I genuinely don't know why that's here. I'll keep it just in case anything like fucks up. I've never had that happen. Yeah, I'm sure you could put the... The blade sword somewhere around here. It must have been the shield, I must have just got it confused. But why is that here? I've never had that happen before. My recollects. God damn it. Oh, we need to go to Amran as well. Where is my blade sword? Wait a second. I had it on me. I wouldn't have dropped it or anything. Um, okay, I don't know what's going on, but it seems a bit broken. I picked it up and I saved with it, didn't I? I don't remember there being a blade sword there, which is even stranger. Oh, I can't display the horn. Because they probably, when I did the thing, when I spawned it in. Wait, I don't have it. I don't have the horn. Why don't I have the horn or the blade sword? And why is the blade of war here? What the fuck happened? What? Okay, I'm gonna add these back to my inventory. Because I know I had them and I didn't save over them. They're on the right save, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did it. What? Wait that. Ah. Okay, I added the sword. Okay. So I have the horn and I have the blade sword now. Such a strange thing to happen. Will this work, though? Meet that. Okay, ma. Pelagius hip bone. Oh, I need the draw knife. I didn't know for the longest time. Well, I knew there was like some way you could do that without doing that. You know the thing. Um, uh, blade sword good there then. And so I remember if it's actually a thing or not. If I'm getting confused. Yeah, no, no. With um, with nettlebane, like I, um, I knew there was like another way you could do that quest for the longest time, that you didn't have to just attack the tree. But, like, I never really understood just how to do it. Uh, but I think you can just, like, use a tap to, uh, 
get the, the, the snap out and then the tree doesn't get harmed and the spriggans don't get activated. I think that's what it is. These are quest items. Where is... Where is my stuff disappearing? My Radiant Raymond fine clothes. I didn't put them away. I didn't put them on anything. What the fuck? My inventory is just deleting my items. What other stuff has it been deleting from me without me knowing? What? Um, well I wanted to put... Oh, a thumb on this guy, because it's funny. I know I picked up thermal boots. If I didn't, then fine. I'll just take them off. Fuck it. Never mind then. I must not have picked them up. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, thank you for reminding me. We need cloak spells. Oh, I didn't forget. I just wanted to bring this up on camera so that you know that I'm considering it. Or remembering that it's a thing that we need. Hello. I was gonna ride the horse, but I just could not be bothered. What was that? Everything's in order. <clears throat> Delphine, Delphine! Let me sleep in your giant inn! God, you're so giant. God, you're such a warm bed. God, you're sexy. Get out of here, mate. No, 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 no. Let me out, let me out! Bricko, bricko. Hello. You made it out alive, at least. Yeah. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Oh yeah, cheers. I forgot about that. Did you learn anything useful? Um, the Thalmor know nothing about dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. They're looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? Yeah. I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Why would the Thalmor... What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Yeah. Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. Something smashed. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Well, I mean, couldn't have foreseen it. It's fine. Well, so the film, I think the blades know about the dragons. That's a funny thing. Ironic, right? Yeah. The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Yeah. Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Hmm. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. <laughs> Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. He'll know what it means. Okay, 30th of Frostfall. <laughs> um... My stuff. Can I, sorry, can I use this? I just want to use this quickly. What's up with that? That looks strange. What is it? Shut up, I'm busy. Hello. Do you need something? No! Shut the fuck up. Oh, my stuff. <laughs> that was really loud. That was so loud. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> How many of you were screaming at me? <laughs> oh, I'm a dummy dumb. Oh man, I'm a silly boy. God damn. The game boot didn't steal all my stuff. I just didn't have it on me. Because I'm stupid. God, I'm so stupid. Well... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why am I like this? Anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go put put the real stuff at home. 
Ah, scary rain loud. My horse. Get out of my house, sir. Hey. I worry about the other settlements in the whole Get disabled. How do I disable him? I mean, it can cripple him, but... Get out of here. Lightly, How do I disable you? Disable. Oh. Who was that? Get out of my house, all of you. Who was that beyond my walls? It's bandit. Well, we'll deal with the oh, <laughs> we'll deal with these guys next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. The fog is still moving on my screen. Look at that.